good with y'all boys? Spaz Art Crew, man. It's your boy, the one and only C.K. Spazzin, man. And today I got a special topic I want to talk about with you guys, man. I want to give my beginning riders, beginner riders, some tips and some little bit of knowledge that I can give you if you're just starting off riding a bike, man. I'm talking about motorcycles specifically. I'm not going to go too much in depth on how to ride, how to switch gears, but just some general knowledge, man. And right now, we had a perfect, perfect spot and a perfect situation in the road that I can give y'all some tips, man. Right now, we had a four-way intersection, man. And right here in this area, this is like the most dangerous area for motorcycles in that sense because you got a whole bunch of cars coming from a whole bunch of different angles. Nobody really paying attention. Everybody trying to get home or get to work, go to the store. Nobody is looking out for you on a motorcycle, okay? So with that being said, P's and Q's, man. Always, always look left and right, side to side, even behind you if you have to, man. Because it's been a time I was at a light. And this car behind me, I guess they was on a phone or whatnot. And I literally seen them in my rearview mirrors smoke from them slamming on their brakes to hurry up and stop. I almost got rear-ended. Luckily, that didn't happen on my bike. I was in a car at the time. But that just goes to show, they ain't even paying attention for cars, you know? So, that's one thing, one. Well, this is my number one first priority, if I'm being honest with you. My number one first priority um, when I'm on this bike is I always say my prayers. Every time, before I leave. Before I leave my house, I always, always say my prayers. And I don't want to push my belief on you. I don't know, you know, who you guys believe in or if you don't believe in anything. But if you do, whatever it is, whatever it is that you believe in, ask them for protection. You know, me is Jesus Christ. You know, I always pray before I leave. And that's just a habit. And that's something you want to make a habit. You know, that way you know you're protected and you got it, man. Moving forward from that point, right now I'm in a, in, a, in a good area to give you guys a bunch of tips. See, like this truck right here? Sometimes cars will stop, right, to let a truck turn into uh, uh, going into the parking lot or whatever. But they only can see the car. They can't see the other lane. So with you being on the bike, that just puts you at a major disadvantage. So if you're trying to just roll ball like me, I've seen him because I'm already looking for this. He could have turned and made his exit, thought he was cleared, and boom, that's me. You know what I'm saying? So right now, this is like a dangerous, this is dangerous for being on a motorcycle because everybody trying to turn, exit, get on. People are trying to move over. I'm sitting in traffic right now, so everybody antsy. You know what I'm saying? So you just gotta always have an escape route. This is one thing they taught you in the MS MSR course, whatever it's called. Motorcycle class, the motorcycle class you gotta take to get your license, your endorsements, right? Always. Well, this is what my instructor taught me. Everybody teach different. Always have an escape route. So with that being said, you wanna always have an escape plan. So I know. If this car or some other car come flying over here in my lane, I'm going to hit the sidewalk. You know what I'm saying? Or I'm going to dip off. I got somewhere. I got some playroom somewhere. You know what I'm saying? You always want to have an escape route, man. You always want to pay attention to literally everything. You know, and, and, and every, sometimes we get, we get complacent. No law. We do. But you want to always be aware of your surroundings, man always i'm always looking at intersections i'm always looking at other cars seeing what they want to do a lot of people turn lanes switch lanes without putting a signal on like i can't sit here and act like i don't do it i wish i do because i know a lot of us do but that just goes to show you what you need to watch out for but you know it's something you don't do when you're driving that's something you need to watch out for okay second thing second please 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 now this is the only riding tip i'm gonna give especially to beginner riders because for somebody who's a beginner rider you know y'all don't have good control over your clutch and your throttle so you want to all you want to you want to learn how to control your clutch and your throttle because i know guys personally you know that's dropped their bike you know from a stop that's always the hardest thing is coming from a stop and trying to uh go you know because that that can be a little bit of no that can be a little bit nerve-wracking if i'm being honest with you trying to start like you had a stop like say you a new beginner rider right i need some circulation up in this helmet hold up 
you're a new beginner rider, right? And uh, yeah, the stoplight, you know, the first time on the road, for real, for real, you got cars around you, you had a four way, you know, and you're trying to go from a stop. You, and you your nerves start getting you know, a little rattled a little bit, man. So you got to know how to control your nerves, man, and just ride your bike, dog. Just ride your bike. One thing I tell every new rider that I come across is do not do not try to show out go fast swerve do something you know you're not capable of doing safely I always tell people ride your own ride man I don't care if you in a crowd full of people going fast they doing willies do not do something you know you're not comfortable doing yet at least you know don't get caught trying to show off because every time you do that somebody end up getting hurt so please do not show out for nobody ride your own ride man and you will make it back home safely man one damn phone in my pocket yep let me go i knew it was something i was, I was missing something i knew it i always tell people man ride your own ride dude don't get caught up in this trying to show why shenanigans because you always gonna get hurt man you always it never fails it never fails and then you trying to show out to be cool and you end up looking stupid and you're hurting yourself another tip i can give my beginner riders is take care of your bike take care of your bike and it'll take care of you do your maintenance on time keep it clean for god's sake it may just be me and I, it's my partner too. I got people that, that ride and you want to have your bike clean, man. You want two wheels. You don't want dirt building up, wheel locking up and can't rotate right. You know, you only got two wheels, man. Do your maintenance right. One bad habit I do have, because I'm not perfect, is I really slack on checking my tire pressure. And that's something I need to get better at doing because you know that is a very important thing that's what that's that's what separates the bike from the road the tire the tires are very important man don't go the cheap route get your tire pressure every time before you ride i'm guilty of not doing that you know but i've been telling myself i need to start getting better at that versus just hopping on landing warm up and going for a ride do your maintenance man i think my bike is at 4200 miles I've at least had three to four oil, oil changes on this bike. Now you don't have to do that. I for sure had three. And now I only got I don't even have five thousand miles. But I do that because I just want to make sure my bike is, is well lubricated, fresh stuff is in the inside the engine, and I know it's running at its top at its peak. You know what I'm saying? I know for a fact my bike knock on wood. But I know my bike is a good running bike. I know I ain't gonna have no problem with it on my end because i know i take care of my stuff you know a lot of it's a lot of people that tell me like hey man i admire how clean you keep your bike it's not just because i like it clean but i like it clean don't get me wrong but it's because i know my shit ain't built up dirt and you know it's just being dirty just cause problems man i feel like especially on something small like this you know so don't cause no more friction on the bike than what it already got you know on certain parts look at this i always keep your eyes out for other cars because it could be look at this truck right here you see how you slam on his brakes that's what i'm talking about keep your eyes on the swivel because there's always somebody ready to just shoot out from somewhere bro always keep your eye on the swivel man in this instance the safer thing for me to do would be to ride in this left lane just in case somebody did decide to just pull out and not look at least they got this lane hopefully they turn in this lane and not turn wide which some people do but you know they give you some you see the difference between riding right here and riding in this lane and this lane is where cars can merge into this you know right this area right here so it's little things like that man and we'll get more into detail as i get on the actual highway but just in case if i don't in this video when they come to like 18 wheelers and shit, never ride behind them man never i never ever ride behind beside 18 wheelers i always try to get around them man because one thing one as we all should know if you drive and you have a, a driver's license 
18 wheelers have major blind spots. That being said, they will not see your ass. If they can't see a car, they will not see you. So keep that. Sh that 18 wheelers have major blind spots. So do not expect them to see you, man, if you just ride them behind them. And then another thing too that comes with riding behind 18 wheelers is they they push, they they uh release a lot of dirt, rock chips. That most of these 18 wheelers coming from uh, a plant somewhere or uh, dropping off some dirt, some pipes, so they dirty. They got dried up mud and clay on them. So every bump they hit, they dropping shit. They dropping pieces of rocks and dirt and mud. And all it's doing is hitting you and hitting the face of your bike and putting scratches all over your bike. If you want to keep your bike looking as good as you can for as long as you can, don't ride behind 18 wheelers, man, because they will shorten the look span of your bike. They will mess up your fairings, chip your paint, all of that good stuff, man. I got a, I got a bunch of rock chips, man, and I would suggest get a PPF wrap on the face of your bike. It's, you know, it's expensive, but it will, it will save your bike. It will. I want to wrap my bike. I want to wrap it neon orange, but I ain't trying to get off topic too much here because this is a very important video. I'm sorry if I'm not, I can't, I'm not, I'm trying to focus on driving and looking at the same time as talking, but you know, I just want to make sure my new beginners, man, understand at least I can give you a little bit of tips man as far as as far as uh riding wise so one thing I think you guys should get down is clutch clutch I need you to get your clutch down I need you to get your throttle down because you don't want to be out here whiskey throttling you know especially if you're getting look at that torque you know especially if you're getting a fast bike so let's keep that in mind man i want you guys to understand too since i'm coming to a lot of stops is bringing it to my attention is these bikes are not made to just be sitting still so especially if your bike is not tuned to, to turn on the fans at a, a lower temp these fans are set to to on the oem if your, if your ecu is not flashed your, your, your most fans are set to like go off at like 200 a 250 or some some high ass number so i suggest you getting your bike tuned and when you get it tuned and flash have them set your fan to turn on at a lower temp because you know it keep your bike cooler man coming to stops like this sitting in traffic a lot of bikes just tend to run hot man because you're just sitting these bikes are driven through air they air cool so you know you don't want to be sitting at a lot of stops man sitting too much i mean when you, if you got to you got to don't get me wrong but your bike could be a whole lot cooler if you're rolling, dog. And a lot of people know this, but, you know, I just got to say it for the people who don't. Because I was once a beginner rider, shit, you know, a lot, everybody, everybody who rides was once a beginner rider. Now, some people start off with a little bit more knowledge, like me, for instance, because I rode dirt bikes and all that type of shit growing up and four-wheelers. So I kind of already, I knew how to ride. I knew how to use the clutch. I knew how to ride. But what I didn't have was street knowledge on the motorcycle every day i ride i learn something different so you can never know everything and i don't know everything but i'm just telling you a, you know a little bit of what i do know and something that i feel like they can help another person out who's watching the channel because a lot of people saying my channel always calm me down if they getting a new bike so if you're getting a new bike man i truly advise do not wait do not wait. Go do your motorcycle endorsement class. You will learn a lot from it. You won't learn like everything, obviously. You're not going to learn like street knowledge. They're going to teach you a little bit, but it'll teach you the fundamentals of the bike. And if you know you're a beginner, do the beginner course. I think some of the courses like a minimum of two days, but I think some of them like three days as well. Do that, man. I highly suggest you do that. So another thing to when you're rolling through neighborhoods and stuff, take it easy. We got a you got a man walking right here, a lady walking right here. People be having kids running out in the road. You never know a dog can run out. There's always please cues, man. Have a high attention of awareness, please. Anything can happen at a split second, and you gotta be ready, dog. You gotta be ready. You wanna be ready when it happens. Now, don't get me wrong. Shit happens too fast sometimes. 
faster than we're not faster than what we can than we can respond. So, you know, see happens, bro. We can't stop water from raining on us. You know what I'm saying? But at least you can somewhat prepare for it. Let's get to let's get out of this traffic. I'm hot. My mind ain't functioning right. Uh, my number one thing I like to preach is this. Say your prayers before you go on the ride and just be aware of your surroundings and do not show off to nobody because you're gonna be the one having to pay that price to get your bike fixed you know and i don't wish them falling or hurting on nobody you know i want everybody to be safe man so just do yourself a favor man and just ride your own ride don't try to keep up with the fast boys or the cool guys just ride your own ride you'll get the intersections and medians that gets back on the freeway those are like the top danger spots in my opinion and when you were like in a little city area of course because you got so many cars doing so many different things when you on the highway it's not as dangerous it's cars and pros to both of them it's not as dangerous but that's r1 r1 buddy not as dangerous because they only can go left and right two lanes three lanes whatever many lanes it is but they're going straight not nobody cutting across you. Everybody's going straight. But it can be dangerous because you're at a higher speed. But those intersections, man, like this. And when you had lights and shit, man, you gotta be aware of your surroundings, man. And learn your clutch. Learn how to use your clutch right and learn how to control your bike at low speeds or low RPM. So if you watched my previous videos, you gotta see, you know, it's all AI. I want y'all to understand, I have a very powerful intelligence, intelligence AI, artificial intelligence. All these videos are fake, okay? I just want to get that clear. A lot of y'all thinking I'm really on this bike right here, really riding behind this Ford, but it's all, it's all CGI, bro. It's all fake. So I have a very powerful AI system, you know, and all I'm doing is just voiceovers. All I'm doing is voiceovers, man. So, this is want to put that out there, man. Uh, none of these videos are real, unless you see like my face or something, obviously. But if it's on the bike, man, I'm not on this bike, man. I'm at home chilling. I'm just doing a voiceover, dog. It is 2024. Y'all don't think the world is capable of doing things of this nature, huh? Okay, then. Uh, uh, that's all I want there. Another thing about me is I like riding in the daytime. You see that wood? Sometimes you won't be surprised on these roads, it'll be a damn couch laying in the middle of the road. <laughs> you gotta always have your eyes on not only what's in front of you, but what's in head of what's in front of you, if you get what I'm saying. If you're behind the car in this instance like me, I can't see what's in front of this car. Give yourself a distance. One thing you learn in the, in the motorcycle course is give yourself a distance. So if this car passing up the stop sign okay boom it passes up the stop sign let me count one two three four five six seven took me seven seconds i'm seven seconds behind this car going at this rate of speed so if anything was to happen this car was to slam on his brake swerve by, out or behind something or pass something up crazy i don't have enough time to see what's going on in the react i'm not right up on the ass so if, therefore if they run over a damn dead dog I ain't running over that motherfucker either and I ain't on the ground. Give yourself some space, man. Don't be don't be hugging the back of these cars, bro. Because a lot of these cars don't like motorcycle people, man. They will brake check you in a minute. You know, a lot of people don't like people in general. I don't, I don't know what's going on with the world nowadays, but what I'm saying is, is give yourself some time, man. Because you never know what's in front of a car. Don't just expect it to be straight, clear road in front of you. Because that's not always the case, man. And that's how you get yourself hurt. Always prepare for the worst, man. Always prepare for something to be in front of you, dog. Because the time you don't is when it happens. And God forbid. And that's why I don't like riding at night that much, man. Because honestly, I'm scared to ride at night. I'm not scared. I do it. But I just do not feel nowhere near as safe as riding in the daytime. Because you can see something a mile away in the daytime. If you got good eyes. You can't see at night. You only can see as far as your headlights protrude. You know what I'm saying? 
So, for instance, when you're riding at night, you only technically only seeing what's 20 feet in front of you. You know what I'm saying? Especially if there's no lights where you at. It's just dangerous, man. And modern bikes is dangerous as it is. So, I don't want to put myself in any more harm in any more harm way than I'm already is. And that's why the number one rule for me, it may not be for you, you know, but I say my prayer every time before I get on this bike. And if you don't know what to pray and ask for, I can give you something. I give you a tip on that as well, man. One thing, one I ask God to protect me, keep me away from all her harm, danger, evil, and crashes on the way there to my destination, while I'm in my destination, and on my way back home from my destination. In Jesus' name, amen. That's all you got to do. I grew up, my grandmother taught me how to pray. My grandmother taught me, you know, the word of the man, the word of the Lord. And, uh, you know, just ask God to just guard and protect you with his heavenly hands from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, man. And you will make it back home. I'm not trying to put y'all boys in church or anything, but that's just, that's just a priority for me, man. I got to. I ain't getting on this bike if I ain't saying no prayer, dog. And don't get me wrong, sometimes we forget. You know, but I will be sure to make sure that thing is said while I'm on the road. You know, I ain't gonna go too long without realizing I didn't say a prayer. Double check, make sure ain't nobody cutting across me good. They got a boulder over there, you can't really see over that. So you gotta keep your eyes on the swivel, man. Especially in areas like this. Certain bikes can handle stopping and starting a lot better. Cause I don't like having my, my clutch held in a lot for a long period of time. Because, one, you're burning your clutch up. Two, you burn your clutch up, and three, you burn your clutch up. So I don't like playing with my clutch on a go stop, go stop. I'll put it in neutral. If I'm at, even if I'm just sitting there for two seconds, you know, because after so period, so much period of time, you're burning your clutch up, <laughs> and you're gonna need some new clutches, man. And uh, I haven't looked into the price of how much they cost for a Yamaha R1, but I know it's not cheap. But I know for a fact, like Ducatis run like three K for. Uh, for a clutch swap for a clutch kit that just give you a uh, a mind frame of what to expect price range wise all uh, right you, you see where i'm parked you see how i'm not directly behind this car and how i'm at an angle one i got an escape route if something happened this way i can go this way now if something happened this way i'm kind of in a bond but two i can see what's in front of me so if there's some crazy guy drunk guy on the road swerving and coming directly towards me i can see it i'm not behind this car and it's blocking my whole vision of what's in front of me so that's another tip as well you never want to be directly behind a car and two you don't really want to ride and i mean it's inevitable you're gonna have to but you never want to just ride in this middle portion of the road because you see all these oil spots and drip spots from cooling and people cars leaking oil that get on your tires it's over with you're done so you want to try to avoid this middle piece of the road as much as possible i don't get me wrong i know y'all probably just sit here and watch me ride this whole time through the middle part okay uh you know it, it, it I mean sometimes it's inevitable it happens you know it's still part of the road you can't just ride right here the whole time but i'm just saying when it comes to places like this especially stoplights where these drips are just sitting and people cars are steadily leaking whatever it is it's way it's worse at a light than on the highway because one is on the highway speed is when it's just pushing and it's just spreading all across the highway but here cars are at a stop so it's just dripping you see what I'm saying? You can see the actual drip marks. So when you got to stop by the stuff like this, you don't want to sit over this middle part of the road because you're just putting all that gunk on your tires, man. Who knows what it is, you know? So I don't like riding over water, man. One, to get my bike dirty. I love to keep my bike clean. I hate my bike dirty, dude. Uh, two, you don't want water on your tires. Obviously, you have two wheels, man. You don't want to slip. You don't want to slip out and lose traction because your tires is wet. So, try to avoid it as much as you can. If you do happen to run through some water, take it easy. Let it run off. Let it roll. Get some road underneath the tires and just let it, you know, dry off your tires. Um, another thing too, you see a lot of they got this dirt and stuff right here. Some places have a lot of dirt. I don't know where you at. It might be dirt. Your new construction of the road is dirty. Please, for whatever reason you may think it's okay it's not okay do not decide to give it gas in the road or gravel wherever you at and it's real dusty like little rock chips even just find little rocks just gravel or it's dirt sandy dusty 
because you you will lose traction, man, and you will lose traction, and you will the bike will get from under you, man. Especially if you're giving the gas, the the back end just gonna go like this. So try your best when you're going through dirt and gravel, man, to just take it easy. Don't try to give it too much throttle. Just ease on through it, whatever it may be, at a stoplight or just a road in general. Slow it down because you do not have grip like you do on just a clean concrete street so if, even if something happened you need to stop real quick or whatever you're sliding bro it's like you know and some of the shit i'm saying common sense but uh, common sense ain't common to everybody you know what i'm saying common sense ain't really common man so i don't want to sound like i'm talking to you like a, like y'all don't know anything or like y'all you know not smart or nothing i don't want to call y'all stupid because nobody's stupid but i'm just speaking on you i'm speaking to you as if you never touched a bike ever going into detail i can do a video on how to actually ride a bike how to let off a clutch and all of that but i'm just giving you on the road tips and cues y'all get under these you got to it's only right it's only right to do that that's the number that's another that's the number that's a very important rule if you go into the tunnel hit that gas for their ass let them hear you coming dog <laughs> I gotta do it. It's rare that I don't do it. Y'all really sitting here watching a real life GTA video, man. This is just GTA with enhanced, enhanced uh, quality. See, they probably don't know I'm here, but they good thing they looking. Yo, us, what up, Kels? I'm gonna introduce you to this girl. Think I really love this girl, yeah. Man, she's so fun, straight up dog. Ooh, damn. She drive a black and wrangle, like some face angel. Oh. Tattoo of her ankle, cause she making pesos. <laughs> Alright, let me chill out. I ain't done, I ain't went to the studio in a while, but your boy CK know how to spit a little something, something. Let me play some music, just vibe for a bit. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, man. It's your boy CK. I love y'all, Spaz Our Crew. Thank y'all for all the love and the support, man. It's not really a riding video, just something I can give, give my, fellow, my fellow new riders, you know, a little tip. You know, some little knowledge that can help you. You know, it ain't gonna do too much, but at least you something you can know, something I can give you, man. You know, and I got more tips for you guys as we get into other videos and stuff like that in that nature. But I just wanted to give you guys, give you guys something, man. Call my new people. I got a lot of people that sound they got new bikes. I'm getting a new bike, so why not give you guys some uh, knowledge? At least a little bit that I can give you. <laughs> 